Hello. Give me just a moment here and we will get started. Thanks everyone uh, for joining today. I'm Nikki Johnson, the um, Managing Director for the CPA, and I'm very excited to tell you about all of the great things happening within the organization. We will uh, go through a review of the new membership model and cover questions at the end. Uh, you can use your webinar toolbox on the right hand, or control panel um, on the right hand side of your screen to um, submit any questions and we'll get to as many of those as we can um, after this, the session. Um, so uh, I, I want to introduce CPA 2.5 and um, if, if I'm not sure if anybody picked up on our little uh, snappy spin, but the 2.5 kind of goes in line with our 25th anniversary that we are celebrating in 2017. Um, so, so why are we doing this? The, the CPA is in a state of, in, uh, of expansion, both in, in membership and industry authority, as well as contribution. And to keep that going, we need to, like all organizations, challenge ourselves and innovate in order to remain relevant in our changing industry. The new CPA membership model uh, does this, and it does it just in time for our 25th anniversary, as I mentioned, happening next year. And as you might imagine, much has changed in this industry in 25 years. And what you will learn about today will certainly help shape and fund the next 25 years for CPA. So, so let's get into it. Um, the when we started the, um, the process, the, the board and staff of, of CPA, um, we, um, cha I, I challenged the board and, and everyone to establish a why statement about CPA. Exactly why is it that we do what we do? Why are we in existence? And here is the result. We believe in building a better supply chain through education, networking, and industry exposure. We give, oops, pardon me, let me back up here. <clears throat> we allow our members to innovate and grow their businesses. We are CPA, the Association for Contract Packagers and Manufacturers. So this really um, is the, the root of where this model came from, that statement. Um, I am not going to go through all of the, of the benefits of membership. Those are available online, but I am going to go through some of the key uh, benefits for, for all members um, and then drill into some other things um, that are pertinent to our very important associate members. So a, as you guys know, um, there, the CPA offers two types of membership, the regular membership, which is our core member, the contract packager, contract manufacturer, and those uh, folks make up the majority of our association. Uh, the, the rest of the organization, uh, which is about 20 to 25 percent, are suppliers to the industry, and we refer to those as associate members. So. Um, here are some key benefits that all members are going to enjoy in this new model. Um, each member in the, on the website is, is going to get a new version of their web page on, on CPA's website um, that will be a content management page. And there we will be able to add searchable content, including um, video that will not only help increase member exposure on the CPA website, but the website in, or the web in general. Um, the, the next big thing that I think is really important to talk about is uh, the fact that we've furthered our partnership with PMMI Media Group. They're the publisher of Contract Packaging Magazine and Packaging World. Um, and we are offering members advertising as part of their membership. Um, so those things kind of switch up depending on what type of member you are, but all 
members will get a digital um, ad spot in CP Focus. And I'm going to um, exit my presentation really quick and show you, show you online what that looks like. Um, and I think it will be very familiar to, to everyone. Um, they're sent out via email like e-newsletters and they look like this. So what happens here, um, guys, is, is part of this, like I said, you get a spot as part of your membership. The, the kind of icing on the cake is whatever you submit, whether it's a video, a white paper, the choice is yours. Whenever anyone clicks on your ad spot, you will get um, the contact information for that individual. So um, the, the platform is called uh, Leadworks, and it's something that um, Packaging World um, does a great job of. So they, they call it lead generation, and as a member of CPA, you will get that as part of your membership. Uh, and, and I also want to take this opportunity to kind of talk about the audience of Contract Packaging Magazine and their digital collateral like the Contract Packaging Focus. Um, I think there's been some misunderstanding in the, within the membership and within the, the market as to who the audience is. And I've heard members say, well, why would I be interested in advertising here? It only goes to my peers. It goes to other contract packagers. Well, it, it does go to contract packagers, just like yourself, but it also goes to thousands of others who have indicated through Packaging World magazine that they have interest in, con in contract packaging services, that they are buying or will be buying those services. And that list is about 25,000 individuals long. So it's, you know, the contract packagers, of course, are seeing this, um, but a, a lot of potential customers and your customers are seeing this. And you will know who has interest because you'll have the LeadWorks uh, platform working behind the scenes. Um, so again, if there are any questions about this, please feel free to um, submit your questions. Um, let's go back to the uh, presentation here. The, the next item I want to talk about is uh, a member profile. And this is an opportunity for each member to submit a story, um, uh, almost a case study, uh, something that is focused on your core competencies uh, to the CPA for us to push out both through membership as well as the, the industry. So what will happen here is upon re renewal, you will get a template to use for submitting your profile. And uh, you know that, that hopefully will make it easy. You, you don't need to recreate the wheel. We'll give you a template to work from. And then we, as we collect those, they will go out in a number of ways. Um, probably you know, in our e-newsletter connection, social media, and just to our database. And our database includes folks that have visited us at PAC Expo, um, those people that have indicated that they have interest in um, contract packaging services. And that list is about 2,000 individuals. Um, and the LinkedIn group page for CPA is almost 4,000 members. So as you can see, it gives some really great exposure um, to members and something that um, hasn't been available in this sort of um, structured program in the past. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is something that is brand new to CPA um, and something we are really, really excited about, and that is um, a partnership that we've made with the packaging school. So you can look them up online. They are um, an entity that's built an online packaging curriculum with the help of Clemson University. 
Uh, we will have their courses available on our website. Uh, they are available at a discount for CPA members, and this means member companies. So anyone in your organization, all as many as you want, can participate in this discount. Um, I encourage you to take a look at the courses. It's a very robust program, and we are really excited to be partnered with these guys. So um, the courses should be on our website uh, within, I'd say, the next. 30 days, um, and the members will be given a coupon code to, to use. Um, again, any questions there, please let me know. The next thing uh, that I wanted to talk about uh, is we are offering legal consultation with our um, attorney, Eric Greenberg. Many of you folks know him. Um, he, he's been part of CPA for a very, very long time. Um, but as part of your membership, you do get um, a consultation with Eric. You can use him as a sounding board for, you know, a new idea, um, you know, if you've got a question about a contract and that sort of thing. So when you renew, you will be given uh, instructions on how to utilize all of these benefits. And again, um, I'm focusing solely on just the, the key areas, the, the long list is on the website, so please be sure to take a look at that. Um, let's, let's move on. So as I mentioned, we've got our regular contract packaging members and then we've got our associate members. And, and some of the things that the associate members have been asking for um, are more opportunities to engage with, with contract packagers. So, this is what we've done. We've, we've given them two options. They, Suppliers can um, choose to be a regular associate member or they can choose to be a gold supplier associate member. And some of the things that those folks get um, are listed here. One is first right of refusal on um, many of our sponsorship opportunities. Um, we're really lucky that we've got some awesome, awesome uh, supplier members within our organization. And they do a great job of um, supporting the CPA in the way of sponsorships, almost to the point where, you know, we've got a cat fight over who's going to get to them first. So um, the gold members will have that first right of refusal. Also in the supplier directory, in the new enhanced directory that everybody will be um, participating in, in the enhanced version of this, the gold suppliers will be um, listed first, and they will be designated by a special um, new gold supplier logo. <clears throat> um, the other thing that we're adding that, that really will benefit everyone who attends the annual meeting is an event app. So um, you, you'd be, you'll be able to manage your, um, your time at the annual meeting from your phone. Um, and one of the benefits for gold suppliers is that they get a profile within the app um, automatically as part of their um, membership. Also, um, they will be given an opportunity uh, to do a webinar that's hosted, promoted, and recorded um, and archived on the website um, uh, with CPA. So they, they will be, uh, we will do one of those a year. Um, on an educational topic. And um, let's see here. In addition to the focus uh, ad piece that I showed, showed you all earlier, the gold supplier will also get a full page ad in uh, w their choice of issue um, in Contract Packaging Magazine, or if they don't want to do that, they can do another digital ad. Um, they can choose one or the other. And one of the last things that's um, a, a key thing that I want to mention is that we are, we're adding um, banner ad capability within our website and on um, a new members online forum. So though the gold members, our gold supplier members will um, get that as part of their membership as well. So just real quickly, too, um, the, the members-only forum is another um, 
another value piece that we're adding that will launch uh, at the start of the year. And that is going to be available to all members. And um, it will be an opportunity to network within our community um, without physically being somewhere with somebody. So networking has been a huge, huge um, area of, of value for the CPA. So we're, try we're looking for ways to um, you know, enhance that, give folks more opportunity to network. Um, and virtually is, is one way to do that. So, do uh, 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 some changes here. So, to accommodate the improved value proposition of the CPA and to uh, efficiently and effectively execute and manage these the long list of benefits, the dues structure is changing. Um, currently, we collect dues on your anniversary um, with the CPA. Uh, we're changing that. And all dues will be collected at the first of the year every year. Uh, and that also means that w our, our fiscal year is also changing to the calendar year. Um, just really trying to streamline things and use our resources in the, in the most efficient way possible so, so staff can stay focused on adding value and, and um, not so much just um, you know, the day-to-day -day paperwork and things that, that need to happen um, you know, on an ongoing basis. So, so what does this mean for, for you? So on November 1st, or right around there, you're going to receive a prorated invoice for 2017 for every month that for into 2017 that you've already paid for. In 2016, you'll have a credit towards your new dues. Um, so on that renewal invoice that you get November 1st, you will make your designation. So what I mean by that is regular members, we're, we're moving to a kind of a sliding scale in dues. So, so right now, everybody pays the same amount. And what we're doing here is something that's very, very common in associations and in our industry. Um, we are basing it on annual revenue. So if you're an organization that is, it does $10 million or, or, or less than $10 million in, in revenue, your annual dues will be $1,995. If you're between $10 and $50 million, your dues are $2,995 and over that, $3,995. Associate members, this is where um, I said you, you've got a choice. So regular associate members, um, their annual dues are $3,995 and gold supplier $9,995. And that, the number on the gold supplier I, um, may seem high, but I will tell you coming from um, the supplier industry, my much of my career has been spent in that role. Um, it's a great deal. You're, there, there are so many value pieces that far outweigh that dollar amount. Um, it, it, and that's the way we've tried to structure all of this in that everything that you're going to get from CPA, from a business development standpoint, if you were to, you know, go out and do it on your own, um, the, the price would probably be much higher. So um, back to regular members really quick, um, because I know that we're going to get some questions here. When you make your designation, your, uh, there, there's, it will be comp, uh, confidential. Um, only accounting staff on the, in, on the inside will have this information. No other member companies will have this information. Um, and there's, there's no audit process either. You're, you're on your honor um, as far as what designation you, you make. And the idea here is that if you're a large organization, you may be able to support the CPA and the industry at a higher level. Um, but that des designation is, is totally up to you to make. Um, I think that was it on that. Uh, I, I also, you know, wanted to explain 
kind of what went into this decision and how much work and contemplation um, was made uh, leading up to this. And, and it was probably better than a year of, of research and planning, a whole lot of board meetings and, um, you know, just a, a lot of modeling and, and things going on. We did look at a couple of different other models that were not revenue-based. Um, and we did some um, kind of focus group testing within the membership and found out really quickly what was going to resonate with, with members and what wasn't. And this was the model that um, seemed to be the right choice and um, certainly put us in a position to, to move the association forward and prepare us for the future. Um, the other big, really big thing was um, our partnership within the industry. I mentioned PMMI Media Group, you know, the packaging world and contract packaging uh, magazine folks um, really worked closely with them on providing the right pieces for the membership based on what the, me the members were telling me, the things that they wanted and hoped to get out of CPA. Um, really working closely with Joe Angel and his group on building this out. Um, the partnership with the packaging school is another one. Um, you know, a lot went into that, and uh, we certainly thank those folks for um, helping us move. You know, move forward. Um, let's see here. A another thing too, I, w I wanted to do a really good gut check on dues. Where, where do, how do we compare? Um, you know, to um, other associations and, and so on. So what you're looking at here are just a few other associations that are within packaging. Some are closer, closer related to us than, than um, others. But um, the first one is the Pressure Sensitive Tape Council. The, the next one is Flexible Packaging Association. And the next two y'all should be very familiar with, F4SS and IWLA. And so what you're seeing here is the, the dark green um, bar is their high end, um, the high end of their, of their dues. And I'm sorry, the low end. And the, the light green is their high end. So as you can see, um, you know, we, we're, um, we're, we're doing OK. Um, you, you know, I think we're, we're well in line with, with what, um, the industry is is um, doing, you know, and on the associate member side, on the supplier side, same thing. So uh, I couldn't find the data on IWLA. That's why that's blank. But um, again, uh, I think we're, you know, well within um, the range of of other associations. And I do think, in many cases, our value proposition is much stronger. Um, in the new model, with all of the things that we're we're adding, um, I think we're blowing some of these other uh, folks away. Um, let's see here. I think that was really all I had. Um, Want to check and see if there are any questions coming in? I don't have anything yet. Uh, let's see. I'm going to give it a few more minutes and see if anybody does have anything that they want to ask. I know that Vicki Smitley, uh, the CPA board president, is is also on the line. Uh, Vicki, I, I don't know if there's anything that you want to mention or share um, here as we, we close up, um, but I, I'll open it up to you in case. Hi, Nikki. Thanks, and thanks for this. Um, I think the, the big thing I just want to mention is the, the opportunity for um, every company to share this out with their entire staff. We are still a single company, single rate membership model. So that means you pay one rate, and all of your employees can participate. 
Tuesday there's a lunch and learn uh, webinar. You can gather all your employees in the conference room and everybody can um, you know, participate. So it's not a pay by person. Um, and I think in comparison to some of the um, educational pieces that we've looked at, the annual fee can sometimes be um, justified in just one uh, lunch and learn, if you will, depending on how many people you have that take advantage. So with that, um, I'll turn it over to anyone that might have a question. Please type it in, send it through, and, and Nikki will um, address that um, as we see them come through. Thanks again, Nikki. And, and Okay, thanks, Vic. And um, to, to Vicki's point, you know, a lot of the, the pieces, the benefit pieces, um, I, I think will resonate with some of the folks that are on the line. In some cases, it might be more important for um, one of your marketing folks, um, you know, to take a look at it and, and really evaluate, okay, you know, this is something that we need to take advantage of. Um, because, you know, I, we all wear different hats, and I think some of the things that, that we're offering will, um, you know, we want everybody to take full advantage of absolutely every benefit that membership offers. Um, but sometimes it takes bringing somebody else within your organization into the fold to get those things done. And I think even in this evaluation period, um, it would be important for all of those um, critical people on your staff to know what it means to be a member of CPA. Um, because, you know, there are several things that we do offer um, currently that members just simply don't take advantage of, um, one of which is a press release program. So while I've got everybody on the line, anytime your company issues a press release, if you send it to us, the CPA, specifically Jill Gabbert, um, and we can give you that information, you know, her contact information, it, it gets um, posted on the CPA website. Um, and then in most cases, we put that news in our e-newsletter as well. So we, we've always offered that program, and very few members take advantage of it. And I truly believe it's because maybe the marketing person or whoever manages your press releases doesn't know to put CPA on their distribution list. Um, so, so what will happen when, I mentioned this earlier, and the fact that we want everyone to take advantage of all of the new pieces. We are going to try to make this as easy for you to do that as possible um, by providing you with um, a checklist. When you renew, you're going to get instruction on how, how to reach Aaron, Eric Greenberg, how to submit your profile, how to uh, load your video to your, your, your new web page on CPA's website. All of those things, we're going to we're, we're working on infrastructure and process to get this just easy for you to take advantage of, and then immediately reaping the benefits of it. Um, so, so back to this content management page, real quick on the website. Um, we today that directory, as it stands today, gets approximately four thousand unique views or visitors per month. It's huge, guys. So what we're hoping to do is to build it even bigger and more um, attractive to the search engines to, to build that up even more. But what will happen is with this new page and the way that it's um, managed on the back end, if you will, our hope is to be able to find out how many views were on each one of the pages. So right now the way that the web is the web page is built, we only know that there's 4,000. We don't know that um, you know uh, packaging unlimited got 500 of those or you know whatever. but but a, the way we're going to structure this moving forward, the hope is we're really going to be able to um, glean some good data and provide that um, to you so you can see, um, some of the exposure that you're getting from the CPA website. And th there's a whole technical discussion on search engine optimization and how it all works. Um, and I won't bore you with those details. Certainly, if you want to know, you can call me. Um, but I will say 
the result is what's important. And CPA has such a historic position on the web. We are viewed as a very credible source um, in the eyes of the search engines, and that's why um, you know we want to leverage our position on the web to help individual member companies even build a bigger web web presence for them for themselves. So again, it, it's kind of technical, um, but it is a big piece that seems somewhat unimportant, but I'm telling you, it's very important. Um, I, I think that is it. I don't have any questions, um, surprisingly. So uh, I want to tell you also that you'll be receiving an email with a link to the recorded version of this. If you want another uh, somebody uh, um, within your organization to um, listen to it, view it, it will be available on demand. And of course, I'm available to answer any individual questions that you might have. The uh, will be at Pack Expo um, next week after next. Uh, it's the sourcing center, the contract packaging sourcing center. It's in the North Hall, booth 5810. Uh, lots of the board members will be there um, to answer any questions that you have about the new model. And um, also, just a reminder that on that Tuesday of the show, it's 3 p.m. We are presenting on the innovation stage. And then immediately following that is our meet and greet happy hour in the booth. So um, if you've, you're putting CPA on your list of um, uh, things to do, that may be a good time to um, set aside for us because we'd love to see you. Uh, again, thanks, everyone. And Nikki, please contact Nikki, me with any questions. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is Jill. We do have a couple questions, so I'll read the questions. Oh, um, okay, yeah, because I'm not seeing them. Okay, I, yeah, I got them. So the first question is, are there changes for regular associate member benefits? Yes, so yes, there, there are several. Um, and you can, uh, let me, I'm trying to see if maybe I can, I can show you where where to uh, find them, and we can look at them really quick. Um, so if you go to the contract packaging um, website, and you click on join, and you go to CPA associate member membership, here are your, your list of benefits. Some of the new ones are desig designated new. Um, so you can take a look at those. There are probably um, several things on here that you didn't even know um, were available. The, the one thing that I will mention is, is we've got, we're building um, a structured program for collecting and distributing associate member uh, white papers, um, you know, educational type of information. We will have um, you will be able to submit so many of those to us for distribution and um, posting on the website. I believe, if memory serves me, regular members get three of those. Gold suppliers get double that. Um, again, there, there's a long list here, um, and I don't know that we, we should go through all of them, but the information is there. Um, and then at the bottom of this list, you will see that there are the add-on pieces uh, for the gold members. So at the top of the list is everything the regular associate members get, um, and then at the bottom are the the add-ons for supplier mem or gold suppliers. Jill, what's your next question? So the, the, another question was, will this be um, will we get the presentation? And you you answered that question that it will be available on demand on the website next week. Yes. The third yep. question is, will the lead generator tool be available for hits on the member company's website link? Uh, I'm thinking that question means, it will, will it be available on the directory of the CPA website? I, I think that's what they're asking. And that the answer is no on that. Um, but I mentioned early on in this presentation, about funding the future, and I, I will tell you that that, that software um, 
that uh, that information on the web is is something that we are looking to engage and provide with down the road. So um, it's it's a marketing automation type of um, platform that is is basically kind of serves as caller ID for your website. And it is something that is on our radar and something we are working on, and hopefully, um, is something we'll add to add to the mix very soon. So, that's a really good question. Okay, and another question is: Can you talk a little bit about the push to include contract manufacturers? Yes, yes. So, the I, the membership. Um, you know the services that our members provide have really broadened over the last 25 years. Um, a lot of folks that started out solely in secondary packaging repack business are now mixing and blending, and they're performing manufacturing functions. And we need to be relevant to our association and our members, right? So we, we needed to find, in my opinion, we needed to add the term manufacturing kind of to our stick because that's who we are and that's where the business is, is, is going in many respects. Um, you know, that very turnkey um, type of um, application, if you will, or opportunity they're more prevalent now than ever before and a lot of folks that found themselves just repacking are, are now doing way more than that and are full-blown manufacturers. So um, it, it's, it's certainly an area of growth uh, for our members and then for the CPA because I think we will attract more uh, members you know, by including that term in who we are. So um, to that point, in your communication from us uh, last week uh, about the the launch of the new program, there was mention in there of, of an updated logo, um, and you'll find that the tagline includes the term manufacturers, um, and that's available for download for members, so you'll want to update all of the places that you've got the CPA logo with the new CPA logo. And as I mentioned, the gold suppliers are going to have their own special um, designation as well with a special logo. Um, and there was something else I was going to mention that's completely slipped away from me as it relates to manufacturers. But um, it, are there any other questions, Jill? Um, I see something about okay, associate membership expiring on October 31st. Can we extend to November or December to have the, the time to present new membership model to internal um, to internal folks? Um, I, I you, you know everybody on this call needs to know that this is your association. We're going to work with you. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the, the, certainly contact Jill or myself. We'll figure it out. Um, no worries. Uh, I, I so, think you know what we can work through those kinds of details. So I can give a specific you know example to that question. So if someone is um, their their current dues took them through the end of October. On your invoice that you would receive from me, you would see two months worth of the dues at the current price that would be added to next year's dues. So you wouldn't actually have to pay for November and December until you pay, you know, you would renew and pay the, the dues for next year. So it would be a little bit additional cost, but you would have a, you would essentially have a few months that you could take and, and explore this and just pay for the it, next two months. Yes. Yeah. So. And, and um, you know, the other thing, you know, I mean, technically, you've got until January one to to you know decide what what you want to do, and hopefully, mm -hmm. um, we've made that uh, a no brainer for you here. Once you dig into what you're getting, um, and then you know from from there, we just need to get over the hump of of this transition, and then from there on, you'll you'll know. Okay, my dues are January one. You'll you'll know. 
um, when they're due. Where right now, I mean, you know, we've got 200 uh, re renewals going out on any, ran you know, uh, randomly. Um, and in many respects, the member doesn't even know when they, what month they're due. So this is going to make it a lot easier for everybody just to know, okay, January, I know that my CPA dues are, um, are up. And then also that's when all, most all of this kicks in. Some things will be available bef before then. Um, like I said, that's the packaging school unlikely will be up before January 1, but January 1 is when you're going to start to be, you, you'll take advantage of, of the new, um, new benefits. Anything else, Jill? Nope, that's all the questions. Okay, terrific. Um, with that, I'd like to thank everybody for their time. And again, if any of us can answer any um, you know, individual questions for you, please um, don't hesitate to reach out. Again, as I said, it, it, this association belongs to the membership, everybody on this call. So um, we're here to make this transition an easy um, choice for you and just the, the process simple. So please let us know if we can help. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.